been to Girard Five Saturday, uh, three, uh, 2 p.m. Now this Silky Terrier, female, not spayed, seven years old, comes in with a with a complaint of very smelly urine, and which is true, the urine is very stinking. Then you call the doctor, and uh, we did a dipstick test on the urine, and. Uh, and the results show that uh, there was protein 3 plus, pH, uh, what, what do you write? pH, what number you write? You say the H only, huh? H? No, he said 8. H only. Or A, yeah. And uh, SG is 1, 0. So now, this dog has seen uh, 3 or 4 beds already, right? Mm. And for the urinary problem, right? Mm. Smelly urine, right? Mm. But and this blood. Uh, and blood in the urine, and then they prescribe antibiotics to recover, right? For a short time. Uh, it recover for a short while, and then it comes back again. But unfortunately, the owner didn't didn't record down what date, what date, what date. If she recorded down, it would be much easier, mm. because sometimes uh, this infection is related to the heat period. After the heat, then there's a uh, urinary tract infection. Is it true? Because she doesn't know. That means after the dog comes on heat, then the, there's a problem. What do you mean by comes on heat? Uh, the, the period leading. Oh. After that, let's say about one month later, then the urine, smelly urine comes in. Not really. No. no. Last so, time when she had a period, after that, don't have. Okay. Yeah. So based on examination, now examination, I would normally palpate the bladder, the, the kidney. Now you see the direction of the dog. I'm going to palpate the left kidney and the right kidney. Now you see the dog. The dog looks at me. The dog looks at me, but uh, and then it looks at me. Uh. So the left kidney is painful, but not very painful. Now I, then I palpate the bladder. Now there's one fishball lump. We suspect it's a hardened bladder because the bladder has been infected for so long. It can be very hard. It's a small fish ball, a small fish ball size. Now, of course, it, it may have stone, but according to her, there's no stones from the other vet's x rays. Mm. Right? So, it most likely is a hardened bladder due to the pus and uh, pu uh, blood of how, how long? Right? Two years, three years? Three years. Uh, for three years, so that it's possible the bladder is hardened already, the wall. And uh, ultrasound will show it. But uh, now, the main thing is what is the cause of it? Is it now? So if you turn the dog upside down, I ask the owner hold, hold the armpit. Now the, the clues actually lie down be, below. Uh, you can see that this dog is licking her private parts, uh, and it's all black here. Now she not been sterilized, you know, and yet this this uh, vulva is swollen. This is about two months after the last hit, and you can see there's milk there. So this is called a uh, forced pregnancy. Uh. It's ending already. Uh, you can see the milk. So it's forced pregnancy. And this part of leaking below uh, is not normally done by dogs. So there is something due to the the dog, although she can't talk, she has been discharging quite many weeks discharging uh, either infected urine or, or or blood from the womb, the uterus. Uh. So she keeps on cleaning it. So the more she does it, the more the skin becomes black due to uh, friction. And this is a this is a telltale sign that there's something wrong with the uterus but uh, I can feel that the uterus feels okay because the dog has been on antibiotics right? Last, okay. uh, yeah, but yeah. recently right? Mm. So uh, with antibiotics the uterus of course will go back to normal size and uh, so there's nothing so about the uterus. So in, in conclusion this smelly urine is normally due to of course bladder infection now the, the infection is spread to the kidney, so there's, there's some pain in the kidney. And so a blood test and ultrasound would be the best urine test or so. So these are the three things and after that it's up to the owner whether she wants to do the spaying or not. To remove the uterus because in the old dog, seven years old, the uterus is no more no normal and it's easily infected from the vagina area upwards due to the dog leaking. Okay, finish.